Hi everybody, welcome to my channel. If you are new here, welcome. And if you are a returning subscriber, welcome back. It's great to have you in my little corner of YouTube where we speak all things adulting, faith, and lifestyle. Before we get started, make sure to hit that subscribe button. That red button must turn gray. Like now, it must turn gray. Give this video a massive thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Comment down below what you enjoyed about today's video and what other videos you'd like to see. Share this with anybody and everybody who you think might need it. And last but not least, hit those notification bells so that you do not miss another video. So without wasting any more time, let us get straight into today's video. So it is January and a lot of us are starting new jobs. A lot of us are getting our first jobs. You have landed a job. Congratulations to you. If you haven't, keep applying, keep pushing, keep doing what you've been doing. Something will come up. But today I want to speak to those who are preparing to set foot into their new jobs for the first time. Um, so I want to quickly talk about a few tips that I implemented on my first day of work. I would also think this is relevant for your first week of work, um, but specifically your first day. So without wasting any more time, I'm going to quickly run through these um, tips and you can be on your way. Tip number one, always bring a notepad and a pen. You need to write down absolutely everything. Literally think of yourself as a student in your first year who is literally writing out the entire textbook, write down everything. You don't want to forget something or ask a question that has already been said or answered. Write down absolutely everything. So with that, make sure to pack your bag the night before. Make sure you've got a pen in there. Make sure you've got your notepad in there. If you've already collected your laptop, make sure you've got that in there. Your earphones, your mouse. I'll actually do a, a, a video in future about what is in my work bag and what I take to work when I go to the office. But make sure you've packed your, night, your bag the night before um, so that you do not forget the most crucial items. Tip number two, dress formally. You don't know what these people wear. You don't know if they wear smart casual. You don't know if they dress for their day. We dress for our day. You don't know if they dress formally. So just to be safe, rather be overly dressed on your first day until you can suss out what is happening and how people dress. And then you can start dressing like them. However, I must say, this is my motto for 2022 actually, to dress for the job that you want. So even if you come from a firm that um, dresses casually most of the time, um, I would suggest still dressing smart casual. Um, even if some people, you will see, some people come to work in track pants. Listen, some people come to work in track pants and hoodies. Still dress for the job that you want. You're new, you're trying to make an impression. Don't look like you have been here for 15, 20 years, you know. Sneakers with a jean and a blazer or whatever or a nice blouse or pumps or, you know what? Just dress for the job that you want. Look decent, dress smart casual, um, but especially on your first day, dress formally, I think, um, until you can see what the vibe is at the office. Um, to add on to that, Dress comfortably, especially on your first day. You might be getting a tour of the building and you don't want to be now dying in heels that are 500 inches long. Personally, I'm not a fan of heels, so don't ask me what the sizes are. But um, you don't want to be dressing in shoes or pants that are too tight that you can't breathe in them or a top that like which or whose buttons are about to, you know, rip apart. Dress comfortably because you are going to be getting a tour probably. Um, and lastly, with regards to attire, stay away from bright colors, especially on your first day, your first couple of months, you know, um, stay away from bright colors. Stick to the navies, the um, beiges, the whites, the blacks, you know, um, for, for a bit until, you know, you've gotten used to the place. Tip number three, do some research on who the partners are. It's great when you are about to introduce yourself to someone or someone's about to introduce themselves to you and you're like, oh yes, you know, your name is, um, I read up on what you do and you know, your area of expertise are one, two, three. It shows that you are excited to be there and that you are so keen to meet people and learn about the firm. So definitely do your research on who the partners are. You can find this usually on the um, company site. Usually there is like a page where, you know, the partners are there, the senior managers, managers and so 
forth you won't probably find the associates there but like high management you'll definitely find there so make sure that you do some research um try to know their names before they tell you their names um even if you don't find the um their names and stuff on the website ask your um hr rep when they're giving you a tour like who's that you know and they'll gladly tell you who that is and what their area of expertise are these people are really nice and they're there to help you and they're there to help you transition into the firm very nicely so make use of them tip number four prepare a young elevator pitch a young small introduction what your name is what your area of expertise are, what your background is and what you studied. Are you coming from another firm? Are you coming from school? Um, why are you here? You know, and just end it off with a, I look forward to working with you guys, or I look forward to meeting all of you guys or engaging with all of you guys. Um, but yeah, just a quick short introduction because you will be introducing yourself the whole of your first year, probably into your second year at that job. I still introduce myself, not just to the people at work, but also um, clients as well. So just make sure you've prepared a young, short introduction. Number five, this one is very important. Um, I would definitely advise that you do this. Communicate with your HR rep or whoever you've been liaising with before you start um, about what is expected of you on your first day. You probably will not be given work on the first day, so find out what you actually have to do. On my first day of work last year, um, I was given you know, online trainings to do and a bit of admin, you know, create your profile on this, do that, you know, all of that stuff. So just find out what is um, expected of you so that you don't just sit idle and like clock in hours for something that, for nothing, you know, um, and you're not just twiddling your thumbs. Tip number six, be on time. Be at least 15 minutes early. Be early, be on time. Um, but also don't be the first person to leave the office. You don't want to be like a clock watcher who is like four o'clock on the dot, or five o'clock on the dot, I'm leaving. Walk out with someone at like, you know, 30 minutes after you're supposed to leave or an hour after you're supposed to leave. Um, catch up on some work, catch up on some admin, do something at the end of the day. You do not want to be the first person out of the office. It's fine if you're a partner or if you're a senior manager or whatever who, you know, has built rapport. Um, but you don't want to be the first person to leave the office. Like, people are going to look at you like, this girl, what is happening? This guy, what is happening? Can't she stand us that much, you know? So don't be the first person to leave the office and don't be the last person to get to the office. Be on time especially on your first day you won't know where to park you won't know you know where to sit while waiting for your access card you won't know where the cafeteria is so be on time so that if you need to ask questions you have time to do that you have time to park you have time to walk to where you're supposed to wait for whoever you're waiting for be on time number seven ask questions even if you don't have a question think of something ask questions ask about you know, how long did it take you to get to the role that you're at right now? If you're speaking to a partner, for example, or if you're speaking to another first year or another associate or senior associate, how long did it take you, you know, to get acquainted with this job? You know, what tips would you give to a new joint? Ask questions, ask questions. Even if you know the answer, ask questions. It shows that you're eager and you're willing to be there and you're keen to get your hands in the mud and hit the ground running. So ask questions i cannot stress this one enough ask questions tip number eight take advantage of the buddy system so in my firm we have a buddy system where second years or third years will be allocated a first year or two first years um to buddy to be their buddies you know to kind of help them ease into the firm those are the people that you ask where the toilet is <laughs> those are the people that you ask which utilization code or you know what what code should i put into my oracle or whatever those are the people that you ask about how to fill in your timesheets because you won't know how to fill those in those are the people that you ask how to you know set up your leave how to you know send emails who to send emails to those are the people that you ask about all those things take advantage of your buddy system this is where you can ask the dumb questions i remember asking my buddy last year like she wasn't in the office with me on um, the second full day that i was there so she came in on the first day to you know um, meet me and stuff and on the second day i remember sending her a message like um hi for the sake of this video 
hi amber you know where's the bathroom <laughs> and she literally got on a call with me and directed me you know so those glass doors you turn left and then you turn right literally you need a buddy take advantage of them you're going to regret not using your buddy tip number nine don't have lunch alone i know this is awkward because it's your first day you don't know anybody you have not spoken to anybody you're shy i'm a very introverted person and i don't like introducing myself or randomly walking up to people so my tip go to the most emptiest table where there's only two or three people there and you know hi i'm rory i'm new here can i join you for lunch and they'll probably be very nice and be very welcoming and you get to ask them um questions and also that is now building your network as well but do not have lunch alone you do not want to be the loner that everybody thinks is stuck up and does not want to interact with everybody else because at the end of the day you're building a community you're part of a community of people these aren't just your workmates um some of these people could turn into lifelong friends you know what i mean so build that network have lunch with people whether you packed lunch and they're gonna go buy lunch say no where are you gonna go sit after you've bought your lunch and i'll meet you there you know um make sure you're not eating lunch alone and try to have lunch with people who know people you'll obviously only know this months into it but um there's a certain colleague of mine who knows everybody literally so have lunch with her because you know when somebody walks past they're gonna be like oh hey you know and then yeah so by the way i'm sitting with she's new uh, you know build that network it's very important to not have lunch alone the last and final tip smile meet people be social and build rapport um by this i mean greet people with a big smile a big wave you know um be social if there are team drinks or welcome drinks or a welcome lunch go as antisocial as i am i always drag my feet to these things because this is number one a great way to network number two to meet new people number three to show that you are willing to be part of a team you are a team player so definitely do that build rapport stick to your word when you um, offer to help someone with something deliver and deliver more even if it's just sending an email or drawing up a spreadsheet do the best in what you do so that people can remember you and want to work with you in future so make sure that you are always having a smile on your face even when you're grumpy have a smile on your face make sure you introduce uh, introduce yourself to the people that you have not met on that day in particular or that you haven't met since you've been at the office and just be social you know as exhausting as it is just be social um i know that's difficult in the world of work that we're in now where we're virtual but take advantage of the days that you are actually at the office be social so with that we've reached the end of today's video all the best for your first day of work for your first week of work for your first month of work congratulations to you get there hit the ground running make a good first impression i'll build on these um you know in later videos and go into them in a bit more detail about you know things that i would do as a new joiner things that i did as a new joiner so yeah with that i hope these tips help i hope you implement them and i hope they help you you know build that first good impression with your new job um, and with your new co-workers and with your new employer so with that do subscribe do like do comment what you liked do comment other tips that you think i may have forgotten um, and do share this with anybody and everybody who you think might need it all the best as you start this new journey of work as you start this new journey at a new job you know you might be working for a long time but um maybe the firms are completely different so all the best with that so with that with so much love and so much like from me to you have an amazing rest of the day stay safe and god bless bye guys